Hey everyone, Father Scott Vanderveer here with another in our series on Rebuilt Faith, a handbook for skeptical Catholics. The great evangelist Billy Graham once said that the greatest cause of atheism in the world was actually Christians who profess faith in Jesus with their words, but who don't live his values with their lives. Don't you think that's true? Don't you think that one of the biggest reasons people are not interested in organized religion, including the Catholic faith, is because they see us as no different than anyone else. No more virtuous or more loving or better than anyone else. And so how could our faith have merit if we are just like all of the other people trying to cut people off in traffic, hustle to the front of the line, keep as much of our money as we can and retire in comfort rather than in service. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have a nice life, but if Christian faith is not lived out in caring for others, people are not interested in it. I think it's great that we have those passages from the book of James that say, faith without good works is kind of like a body without breath. The person is there, but are they? If we're in the room with a corpse, does it feel like we're with that person? If faith has no works to go with it, it's as dead as a body without breath. So that's what we're focusing on in this chapter, is the idea of service. I thought it was interesting to hear Father Michael White say that in all of his years of ministry, the biggest reason why people decline an offer to get involved in ministry is that they feel unqualified. I'm not qualified for that, they say. I'm not competent to do that. I can't do that. But of course, we hear that God does not call the qualified. God qualifies those who God calls. The people God calls are given within the call everything that they need to accomplish what needs to be done. Moses is the example that we hear about in the book, but there are so many others, so many people who felt they were not up to the task, but who realized that faithfulness is all that we're called to. Mother Teresa said, everyone wants to be successful in the world, but God did not call us to successfulness. God called us to faithfulness. Being successful is not the sign that we're doing what God wants. Faithfulness is the sign that we're doing what God wants, putting one foot in front of the other. I like the, the theologian and Episcopal priest, Barbara Brown Taylor, who says that all of life is like a bucket brigade. All of us are, are just in a bucket brigade, taking the bucket from the person who's one step closer to the river than we are and handing it on to the person who's one step closer to the pain. We're in a bucket brigade and we are called to do our part, whatever it is, no matter how big, no matter how small, until God's kingdom comes. Most of us are not gonna see it happen. Most of us are not gonna see our dreams come to success, or we may actually see some of the chapters that we're in fall apart. The people who work at the College of St. Rose do not yet know how God is going to bring glory out of that story. For those of you who don't know, the College of St. Rose, a beloved 106-year-old Catholic institution of higher learning in the Albany area, is closing this May. What a tragedy. We know that God can bring glory out of it, but we don't yet know how. So, so the call to faithfulness for many of those people right now is getting students transferred to another college, despite how painful that is. Helping them make sure all of their credits will transfer. Making sure that all of the, the legal requirements of closing down a college are followed. Now they have to find new jobs, one step at a time, putting one foot in front of the other. They have to mourn and grieve as they keep going, as we all do with all of the stages of life. It is painful and difficult for us to face how, how hard 
it is to, to deal with the unfulfillment, the, the lack of completion of much of what we're doing here in our lifetimes on this planet. But God does not call us to success. God calls us to faithfulness. We are called to do what we can with what we have. A lot of people feel that it doesn't make sense to get involved in something until you can be sure that it will succeed. But that's not what makes a life of service a life of service. If you know the story of some of the religious women who came from Europe to bring Catholic education or Catholic health care to America, you know the story of people like Mother Cabrini who struggled day after day, month after month, year after year. Her call was not to be successful. It was to be faithful. And her faithfulness was what unleashed hundreds of schools and hospitals in the United States. It's what allowed the Daughters of Charity to come and do the work that they do, that they continue to do from their mother house in Manans. There is so much that we can never accomplish within our lifetimes or just with this generation of, of human beings. But with God, all things are possible. We are encouraged this week to consider, what is my role in the bucket brigade? Am I involved in acts of service? Am I, am I involved in making a difference in people's lives, in relieving their suffering, in helping them in their struggles? Am I a part of what God is hoping will happen? There are a lot of examples in the arts of poets and songwriters trying to help us understand our role in God's unfolding creation and redemption of the world. One of my favorites is the movie, Oh God, with George Burns playing the role of God and John Denver playing the role of us. Do you remember that scene where John Denver says to God, how can you allow so many of these bad things to happen? How can you allow there to be refugees and kids orphaned with no one to raise them and, and people dying in the streets? How can you allow there to be so many people in the world that are trying to live on $2 a day or less? How can you allow it, God? And he said, I don't allow any of those things to happen. I created you. You do. I created you to solve those problems, to be peace for those people. Not all of them, but the ones that are near you in the bucket brigade. I don't allow those awful things to happen. I made you. I made you and me, all of us, to make a difference in this world. What's our place in that? deep things for us to think about, very personal things that affect us and our journey in a particular way. May God bless you with all of the gifts that you are called to share with this world in need. May God continue to prosper the work of Catholic Charities and Catholic Relief Services and all of those other organizations that allow our church to walk the talk of Jesus. May God bless those who suffer and may God bless you and all those you love.